If you want to generate a PDF file from ChatGPT, then this video is for you. Let me very quickly show you a couple of ways how can you generate PDF files from ChatGPT. Currently, I am in ChatGPT console and if I just paste this particular prompt, please help me writing a detailed blog post. So what I am doing, I am asking ChatGPT to generate my content. Now it is creating the content and after that we will use it. I will also show you if you are not able to get the desired result then how to modify that and to get that desired output. Currently it is generating the content and once this is done then we will go to the next step. Okay, content has been now generated. If I go to the next step and I just paste this particular prompt, please convert this output to a well formatted PDF and if I hit enter then it will start working on it and it will generate the Python code to convert it to a PDF file. Let's see that how it works. Currently it is in progress and it is generating the code. So we'll wait for a while till the time it completes the entire generation. You can see it encountered an error, but one good thing is it recovered from there and it is reanalyzing that entire thing and it is trying to fix. I'll fix this and generate the PDF again. So in case it gets into any bug or any error, then it will regenerate. And that's a very good feature OpenAI incorporated with ChatGPT. Now, if I come here, our file is ready. If I click on it, it will download that PDF file. Let's see how it looks like. If I open it, it created the PDF, but formatting is not right. Everything is in bold and it's a very, very basic thing. So let me do another thing. If I come back and then I paste this particular prompt, formatting of the PDF is not proper. Heading, subheading, bullets and numberings are not proper. Please export it as a PDF by keeping the same formatting what I can see in the canvas. You can see this right part of this chat GPT, it calls the canvas. Here it is formatted properly with a proper heading, then everything, all those details are properly formatted. If I now execute this prompt, then it will try to regenerate the PDF again. It will again follow the same procedure. It will generate the Python code and then it will give us the final output. Let's see how it works this time. If you see currently it's generating the code and there it is adding those bullet points, headings, everything, all those additional formatting it's adding now. Let's see how the output looks like. Okay, our file is now ready. Let me download it. And then if I open that file, let's see how it looks like. Now we can see it formatted the file properly with all headings, numbering, bullet points, everything is there. So you now understood in case you are generating something from ChatGPT and then you are not happy, you can reprompt and you can rectify in case of any error. Now this one I generated using my paid plan. Currently I am a ChatGPT plus user, there I have used it. Let me show you in the free plan, what are the problems are there and how can you overcome that problem also. So let me very quickly switch the browser and there let me open chat GPT using a different ID where I don't have any paid plan. Okay, now I opened my edge browser and there I logged into chat GPT using a free plan. Here you can see in the bottom left corner, it is showing that currently I'm in the free plan and it's asking me to upgrade. So if I close it and now if I use the same prompt again using which I generated my blog content and let me use it and then you will see that similarly it will generate the entire content. Here also it is using ChatGPT canvas and then it will come up with my output. Let it complete the generation and then we'll go to the next step. Now the content is ready. If I go to the next step and again I use the same prompt, please convert this output to a well formatted PDF. And then let's see how it works. It is trying to create that PDF and it's analyzing and it's trying to generate that code. Using free tier, sometimes you may face problem that it may not generate that code and you may not get the file. Sometimes it also happens that it will generate it for a couple of times. And after that, you may hit the free tier threshold limit and it will not allow you to generate. You can see it gave me some error and now it generated the file. If I click on it, let's see how it generated. In fact, it generated properly here this time without any problem. You can see here even fast response is better than the paid plan. However, let me come back and let me show you 
if it doesn't generate the file at all for you, what will you do? You can just copy this text from here. Now, let me do a very simple thing. I will go to MS Word. I'll paste the entire content and then I'll go to file and then I'll go to export and then I'll click on this particular button. It will give me this prompt where I just need to click publish and it will create that PDF file for me. If you are not using MS Office and you don't have a license, then there are also a couple of more options. You can go to office.com to use the web version of MS Word, which is absolutely for free. You don't need any license. That's one. You can also use Google Docs and there also you can paste and you can export. So these are the way you will be able to use ChatGPT to generate PDF files based on your requirements. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or you want me to cover any specific part of ChatGPT in this particular channel. While we are talking about ChatGPT, recently Google announced Gemini 2.0 and using Gemini 2.0, you can learn any software very quickly. If you want to know everything about it, then check out this video.